Hello again. We are back in my kitchen and as with last time, I am just talking into my phone and based on one of the comments, I need to ask all of you, all of you, whether you are diehard observers fan, you're a weekend warrior, you're a tourist, or you're one of our trolls, I need to ask you a very serious question for just a second. So this is the comment and it begins with something I see all the time. NASA haters taking it too far. Now, I'm not above a good slaying when scientifically appropriate, but as you can see, this person suggests a lack of respect is due because of using NASA work. The same is said whenever big university scientists are on a major paper saying something real for a change. And this is where the middle ground comes in. I try to tell you as often as possible, there are observers everywhere. NASA, top universities, top labs, organizations. This is why we know what's coming. In 2011, we said they would find no dark matter, that solar climate forcing would begin to surge into the peer-reviewed literature, that pre-earthquake electromagnetic signals were real, and that Earth's magnetic changes in solar activity were paramount concerns for our species. They haven't found dark matter, and they never will, because it's not some magic new particle. There were enough papers on solar climate forcing to have it narrowed down to only 500 citations in our textbook, the 2022 supplement should be ready for the fall semester, by the way. The AGU took care of the textbook for the pre-seismic signals, mostly electromagnetic ones in the atmosphere, and the Earth's magnetic field, the long solar cycles, and the awareness of the disaster impending has begun to shift the field of catastrophism. Even the recent surge in Nova Science is just months after we said it was coming. That's just some jerk on YouTube, right? Betting against billions in taxpayer grants and the world's best scientists but winning and claims he's got help. And so the question is this, and I usually frame it to our haters as everything you just saw there, there's two options. Either it was just me and you need to realize what you're up against or two, I'm telling the truth. And there's a lot more people behind the scenes in very high places, universities, NASA, ESA, than you realize then either one of those should be equally terrifying to you. Except now I'm not talking to the haters. Now I'm talking to the observers who can't get it through their heads that there absolutely is a science revolution. What do you think we've been seeing in the field of catastrophism? What do you think we are witnessing over the last couple of weeks and months in Nova science? All of these things are happening for a reason. So I will ask you, do you think it is more likely that you are correct that everybody at NASA is a liar, that it's never a straight answer, that none of them are on our team. Same with those professors. None of them are on our team. Or do you think I'm telling the truth? Let me show you. 